Welcome back to Sturgeon Creek Genetics. <clears throat> For those of you that have not seen, now it's not completely done yet, but this is our water system that uh, we mainly use right now. Um, we, we built it last summer, so this will be the first calf crop that, excuse me, that actually gets to drink out of it and their mothers all year long, which is exciting. But the way we designed it, um, we had redid um, an old pond that you can see up there. It's still got some erosion that uh, we need to get some grass growing around it. But anyway, we re redid the pond, ran a water line, uh, gravity fed all the way down to this tire tank. We leveled out this section and we put uh, geotextile fabric and number two rock underneath it and then came with uh, several loads of lime on top of it it's got a little uh, natural slope uh, running down but anyway um, this was an area that we really I mean there was nothing here except for some shade and we took out a couple trees but anyway we put four gates in so one two three and four now obviously that gate's just tied right now but it allows us to move cattle pretty much on 60 acres right here and right now we have our main cow herd our mature cows moving in three sections so the section you see here uh, the section above the pond towards our corral and then right now they are over uh, around our tobacco barn now what's crazy about this is behind me is actually our best hay fields, okay? It's kind of steep, but it levels out up on top of the hill. But that's our best hay ground. And so what we are able to do um, in the fall of the year, instead of, instead of cutting that in the fall, we run uh, electric fence around it, poly wire and pigtails, and we graze it. So it ends up being a whole lot of land that all gets to water out of this section, okay? And then just depending on uh, what gates you want to bring them through, um, you have options. And then something we added on last year when we built it is, it's nothing special, but uh, just a little loading ramp with a, a gate and a step up. And boy, oh boy, does it work because this is a circular system. But I'll show you the water tank. Now, I'm not going to lie, it was a lot of work, and the design was wonderful. But, you know, once you have fixed your pond, it's basically free water all the time. And in the bottom of it, yes, we have the float valve, but we've also got uh, a clear out. Okay, so we literally can clean out that entire tank just by opening a lid, which is pretty cool. And then it flows. It flows right down here and we're actually trying to lower the pond right now um, we need to do a little bit of work up there so we're lowering it and you actually can see the water coming underneath flowing so that's a pipe running under this entire structure um, that's letting some overflow flow through which is pretty cool and I felt this water today and it is cold now that my friends I see a minnow so I'm assuming, I guess that that fish came all the way down the pipe, I guess. I don't know. Now, you may be asking, why in the world do you have pallets and landscape timbers going across? You will always have a cow that decides that she needs to get in and take a bath. I don't care what you do. And we have one that likes to do that. So to keep them from getting in the center and tearing stuff up, we had to do that. So that is the float valve right there. It works just like the back of your toilet, okay? And then that is the overflow. Now, the water is running out of that right now because we've raised that float valve up enough to where we have a constant flow going out right now. Now, obviously, when we lower the pond down a little bit more, we will not have to do that, and it won't be running, which will be helpful. But you're looking at between eight to 900 gallons of water a day 
that these cattle um, have access to. It's cold and they come down and drink when they want to. So like right now, we've got some high mag mineral uh, in the troughs. They get to come down as free choice and uh, drink what they want to and eat what they want to, which is helpful. And like I said, it's always dry right here. It's always dry. And you can see that's some of the, the bare pasture that they just came off of. That was actually a walkway that we built with uh, pigtails to, to make them rotate pastures, which was helpful. So you can see them over in this section right now, but just wanted to show you guys this water system and, and how helpful, how helpful it has been. Because I'm telling you, for years, we just had our cattle drinking out of, you know, muddy, uh, poopy water. And uh, I promise you, if it looks bad, they're not going to drink as much as they would if, if it was good flowing cold water. So anytime that you can use a pond and gravity uh, to your benefit, it, it pays off absolutely pays off see the cattle some are picking and some are just chewing their cud but it's a good day to be a farmer thanks guys for stopping with us